Hello, everyone. Okay, I want to give you just a few instructions so you know what's going to happen as we go through the ceremony. Okay, so first of all, we are really excited about doing this and very happy that we were able to figure out a way to make this happen and still be safe. So you do need to make sure that you have your mask over your nose and mouth the entire time and make sure you're staying six feet apart, please. Okay, so there's going to be a part in the ceremony where you're going to be reading aloud part of the honor code that's on page five in your program. You're going to be reading the part in bold out loud with me. Then we're going to begin the signing of the Cadi book. Okay, so as we're doing that, you'll be going up row by row, starting with the first row. You're going to be going out in this direction, okay, coming up the stairs up here. Stop at the top of the stairs until you hear me say your name, and then you'll come across and sign. So we've got two places for people to sign. So pay attention to where the person before you went and go to the other one, okay? After you've signed your name on the sheet of paper there, you'll take a daisy, go back down and get back into your seat. Is that making sense? When it's time to leave, at the end we'll do the alma mater. Ordinarily we'd have you sing, but that's actually a high risk activity, so just listen along with the alma mater. And then Pro Professor Spencer will come down here with the mace, and you'll all exit the other way. So you'll follow her up the stage and across and outside the building. Is everyone ready? Okay, so in a moment, some music's going to start, and that'll be the procession. That's your signal that it's time to stand up. Thank you. Students, faculty, staff, and friends of Cotty College, we are assembled here tonight for a very special purpose, an annual celebration that ushers in the beginning of a new academic year. Through this special gathering, we welcome our newest students to Cotty College. Students, you have an amazing potential. You have the potential to learn. You have the potential to lead. You have the potential to truly make a difference in this world. This event is for you and about you. Tonight, we invite you to take part in one of the most treasured and long-lasting traditions here at Cotty College. While COVID-19 has necessitated some changes to this event, we are truly honored and delighted that we can welcome you to our campus in person. To all of the families, the friends, the faculty and the staff who are joining us by live stream, welcome to Convocation 2020. We will begin our events this evening with the invocation delivered by the Reverend Erica Sagake, Coordinator of Spiritual Life and Campus Diversity. Mm. 
Let us pray. Almighty God, creator and sustainer of the universe, as we begin this new academic year, we gather once again, not as a routine thing, that ra but rather an intentional positive mindset for the common good. We thank you for the energy and spirit that you renewed in us through the summer months. May this year, with this energy and spirit, renew us through in everything that we are going to ex express in our lives. May we be marked by enthusiasm and love so that with this inspiration of your blessings, we may continue to grow while we explore our different goals and visions with confidence, encompass this place and turn our lives in the direction that will connect us with the needs of our challenging world. Help us adapt well to the new regulations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and give us the courage to persevere with hope. Fill us with your grace and touch the hearts of all our new students. Ignite your strength and an open spirit in them. Keep them calm, focused, and positive, and remind them they are never alone on this new journey. Grant us each day the desire to do our best, to grow mentally and morally as well as physically, to be kind and honest with ourselves as well as with others. Lord, bless our president, Dr. Whitesell, and all our leaders. Bless the staff and professors who give their heart to teaching. Thank you for the special gifts you have given each of them and for giving them a spirit of grace and compassion. May they have strength and endurance to perform their many tasks. Prepare our hearts to receive the profound words of wisdom, hope, and encouragement from our honored speakers. May their words energize us and help us well sustained. Keep your presence alive and continue to radiate among us throughout the year. Protect us and keep watching over us. Surround us, our families and friends, with grace and keep them safe. Be with us now and forever. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Sagake. Students, you may be seated. I would now like to introduce those who are sharing the podium with me. And I will ask these two women to stand as I introduce them. And I'll ask you to hold your applause until all have risen and been introduced. On my right is Sarah Rafferty, class of 2011, speaker for this evening. And then we have Dr. Joanne Bangs, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the Faculty. Off stage, due to social distancing, are Th uh, Professor Theresa Spencer, College Marshal, and you just met Reverend Erica Sagake, Coordinator of Spiritual Life and Campus Diversity, and our organist is Debbie Fast. Please welcome these people. Since 1935, Cotty has had a meaningful and a unique tradition called Signing of the Cotty Book. Now the book itself is leather and the pages within that book are loose. The book is very fragile and the very first names are starting to fade. The signatures of our new students, you, will be added to those pages this evening. As we open the 137th academic year of this historic institution, we celebrate the progress and the success that Cotty College has enjoyed during our long history. 
We look forward to the opportunities that this school year brings, and we promise to continue to define our future and to create incredible futures for our students. 2020 represents more than a century of educating women here at Cotty College. In 1884, Vernon Seminary, later to be renamed Cotty College, opened its doors for the very first time through the efforts of a true visionary, Virginia Alice Cotty. The Vernon Seminary was a day and boarding school for girls located on six acres of land out in a cornfield. The city of Nevada did not yet have electricity and students were ushered from one place to another by horse-drawn carriages. And just a few years after opening, an epidemic of scarlet fever hit the community of Nevada, quarantining Cotty students for two weeks. The college and its students, faculty, and staff prevailed against this epidemic, thanks to Virginia Alice Cotty's dedication to protecting the students. And now, about a century later, Cotty faces a similar challenge, this time the COVID-19 pandemic. The last few months have been difficult, requiring many of us to miss out on events that we had looked forward to and making us stay apart from friends and family whom we hold dear. But despite the disappointments and heartaches that you may have faced, you are starting a new chapter. You made your way to Cotty College and we are thrilled that you are here. I'm confident that through perseverance and by working together, we will not only triumph over difficult times, but we'll come out on the other side stronger than ever. Throughout this challenge, and many more that we will no doubt face in our lives, may we endeavor to be courageous and compassionate. Although Cotty College has undergone many changes since its inception, our mission has never changed. It is our mission to offer women the opportunity to receive an excellent education in a diverse and supportive environment taught and guided by faculty and staff who have dedicated their professional careers to women and to their futures. Our newest students are now joining the ranks of all of those women who have come before. We are proud to be a liberal arts and sciences institution, one that offers students the opportunity to assemble a broad foundation of knowledge that can be used across a wide spectrum of careers and across a lifetime. When we engage in a liberal arts and sciences curriculum, we learn to think critically and creatively, to examine the world around us, to communicate effectively, to question for ourselves rather than simply believing something that someone has told us to believe, to reason, to become problem solvers, to make ethical decisions, to apply the scientific method, and to adjust to changing situations. All of these lessons will be valuable for you, our students, not only in the months to come, but in the years to come. We are proud to offer outstanding degrees at both the baccalaureate and associate levels. We encourage students to become involved with the college, engaged with the college, to take part in the many co-curricular activities and to make friends that will last a lifetime. We welcome our new students and we welcome our returning students. And we wish everyone a healthy and successful academic year. 
We also welcome our faculty and staff to the 2021 academic year, for without them, Cotty would not be the model of women's higher education that it is today. It is now my pleasure to introduce our esteemed convocation speaker for this evening, Ms. Sarah Rafferty, who graduated from Cotty in 2011. I encourage you to read of her many accomplishments in your program. We are so proud to recognize Sarah as an alumna because she represents so well the characteristics of a Cotty student. Intelligence, leadership, determination, perseverance, confidence, and someone who is not afraid to use her voice for the betterment of others. Please help me welcome Miss Sarah Rafferty. Good evening. Um, thank you, Dr. Weitzel, faculty and staff for having me here and welcoming me back home. I am humbled to be on this stage. Congratulations to the incoming fresh women of Cotty College. It is an honor to usher you into the Cotty sisterhood. Cotty holds such a special place in my heart. It's impacted me from the second I walked on campus, and it still affects my life years after graduation. The Cotty bubble is where I learned is where I earned my first college degree, but it's also where I learned more about myself. I discovered what kind of woman I wanted to be and how I could impact the world. And for that discovery, I am forever grateful. So who am I? Why am I standing before you? Well, 11 years ago, I was you, sitting in this exact same theater, about to embark on this exact same journey. My name is Sarah Rafferty, and I came to Cotty in 2009 after graduating from Odessa High School in Odessa, Missouri. And I knew from the moment I stepped on campus that Cotty was unique, but I didn't realize how much it would transform me. I spent two incredible and awe-inspiring years at Cotty. In between classes, I juggled dance and theater rehearsals. I balanced my time between campus traditions and my history degree. I got to explore Paris and Spain in my second year with some of my closest friends. And near the end, I debated about staying for the full four years since my class was the first eligible for the baccalaureate degrees. But in the end, in 2011, I graduated with my associates and decided to transfer to Purdue University where I finished my degree in history, focusing on women and gender studies. Following grad school, uh, following graduation, I began my master's from Syracuse University in museum studies. And now I am a proud founding staff member for the new International African American Museum in Charleston, South Carolina, where I am the membership manager. The museum, which opens in March of 2022, will tell the untold stories of the African American journey and will help tell a more complete account of history. My resume holds more details, but there's one common thread to the success of my work, and that's Cotty. As incoming fresh women, I challenge you to, to start utilizing the strength of the Cotty faculty, alumni, and PEOs. You have an entire support sy system that is cheering for your success. Looking back, I really wish I would have reached out to my professor sooner in the semester because it's these relationships that will set you up for maximum success. The Cotty professors want to help you. They want to be invested in your careers. So whether it was a professor that wanted us to call them at 2 a.m. for any sort of help, or helping us get our first internships, or merely just checking in to see how we were transitioning, the Cotty faculty understands how exciting but difficult this transition can be. Their lectures will educate and inspire you, but them, they themselves will leave a lasting impact. For example, my favorite class at Cotty was Dr. Fergus's women's history class. 
If you get the chance to take it, take it. For me, you'll learn so much about the feminine journey in our country. And for me, it changed, it changed my perspective on what it meant to be a feminist. It was also the class that set my career in motion. As the class was winding down for the semester, I went to her office and we talked about possible career paths. She was the first person to suggest me going into museums. And as soon as she said it, the light bulb went on. And that was it. She was the one that suggested I reach out to the Women Air Service Pilot Museum in Sweetwater, Texas, and to ask about an internship. I walked into that meeting uncertain of my life and walked out with a career path. A few weeks later, I was graduating and heading down to Sweetwater as the WASP Museum's first ever intern. And while there, I met an exhilarating group of women whose story is not well known. The WASP flew in World War II as tow targets for combat training missions for their male counterparts. They broke the glass ceiling and made it possible for women to serve in the military as active military. I, I'm grateful to Dr. Fergus for suggesting that I take the leap. Otherwise, I would have missed out on that experience. My relationship with Dr. Fergus moored from over the years from a student professor relationship to colleagues to friends. And this story is not uncommon with Cadi alumna. It's something you don't get at a larger university. I followed my mentor's path and went to her alma mater, Purdue University. And as much as I love the school, my friends, and the memories I made there, I don't keep in contact with the, the teachers the way I do with the professors from Cadi. So utilize their wisdom. Next, keep in contact with the PEO chapter and alumnas. They are your guardian angels and big sisters. The small treats and snacks made long nights of studying bearable. I can't tell you how many times I needed a chocolate fix at one in the morning and those PEO packages were there for me. Side note, send a thank you. Take just a second to send a thank you and stay in touch with them. As a PEO myself, I can tell you firsthand how these thank you cards from Cadi students make the meetings, it's the highlight of the meetings. These simple acts of kindness are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the PEO alumna relation network. These women want to cultivate the next generation of Cadi grads, and most of them do it in exchange for a Cadi conversation. In 2014, I was offered an internship in Wilmington, North Carolina. It was an unpaid internship, and it was at a small house museum. And I figured I wasn't going to be able to take the offer until I reached out to the PEO sisterhood. Initially, I asked if anyone had a room to rent for a month. And the next thing I knew, I was split before, between four different chapters and four different groups. My only fee was to speak at their chapter meetings. So think forward. If you're traveling and get into trouble, need a place to crash, reach out. The Sisterhood of PEO and alumna want to help. We want to find you internships. We want to see you in your dream jobs and apartments. It's our way of paying Cadi back for what it gave to us. I can't tell you the number of times that I have been wearing my Cadi shirt and have been stopped by someone who knows a PEO, someone who is a PEO, and someone who's an alumna. We see the state of women's colleges in this country, and they are shrinking at an alarming rate. But Cadi is the exception. It's thriving, it's growing, and a massive variable of that is the love, sweat, and support that these networks put into Cadi. You are our future, and we want to support you. But the next steps are on you. Reach out to the PEO Relations Office and the Cadi Alumni Office in Main Hall. They can get you in touch with the right women. Find me on social media. DM me for any questions you have on college, resumes, internships, or just if you need someone to talk who's been there. Also, my couch is always available if any of you travel to Charleston. Use us. We want you to. Finally, I want each of you to take a minute and think of the women who came before you. They may be historical figures or not. They may be famous or unknown. They may know their impact on history, or they may have only impacted you individually. But they all have laid the groundwork for you to be here today. It's a perfect week to be coming to Cadi. It's the week that we celebrate the centennial of the ratification of the 19th Amendment, which gave us the right to vote. 
It wasn't that long ago that women were fighting for the fundamental right to participate in the government. Our fight is still not over. It's far from over. There are so many opportunities where women have, been given, have not been given an equal chance. For instance, my biggest career goal is to become the secretary of the Smithsonian. And in the 20 to 30 years that it will take me to get there, I hope that I am not the first woman secretary. I don't want to wait that long for barriers to be broken. There are too many positions where we have been overshadowed or held back. I think back to my mother and grandmothers and think how many opportunities were denied to them because of their gender. And it drives me to be the best that I can be. So in closing, I challenge you to think of that woman and go into the semester with her as your driving force. Embrace all that Cotty has to offer. Opinions and thoughts are celebrated and welcome here. Professors will challenge you to think outside the norm and make you approach the world differently. Cotty will test you, teach you, and embrace you. And if you're willing to soak up all the knowledge from the alumna PEO networks, from the faculty, from your fellow students, and from yourself, Cotty College will graduate women who can accept the challenges that life will throw at you and give you the strength to shatter the glass ceilings that are above all of us. Good luck in the upcoming academic year and on your future journey, and welcome to the Cotty Sisterhood. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sarah. Your stories and your experiences demonstrate for our students what a Cotty College education can do for them. We appreciate you. We appreciate your words. So now I'd like to introduce Dr. Joanne Bangs, Vice President for Academic Affairs. The signing of the Cotty Book is among the oldest and most cherished traditions at Cotty. Tonight you will be joining the original 21 students who started this tradition in 1935. The Cotty Book is made of white leather. A gold cord holds the pages together. Once you have signed your name in the book, you will proceed across the stage where you will receive a daisy. The daisy symbolizes your membership in the Cotty community. In the not too distant future, you will be given another daisy at your graduation. Just as the cords bind each page of the Cotty book together, traditions like these bind together past and future generations of Cotty students. Your signature in the Cotty book is your formal admittance to the learning community that is Cotty College. You are pledging your commitment to the spirit of Cotty and your willingness to uphold its ideals and standards. When Virginia Alice Cotty founded Cotty College, she established these high ideals, expectations, and principles for her school. Since then, each student has been guided by these ideals and principles. Over time, these ideals and principles became the honor system at Cotty. Tonight, when you sign the Cotty book, you are acknowledging that you, like other students before you, will strive to live up to the values of the founder and to live up to the standards embedded in the honor code. Before you stand to pledge your intent to uphold the Honor Code, you should understand what it means. The Cotty College Honor Code means that each of you will do all in your power to maintain the intellectual integrity of the work you and other students undertake here at Cotty. Your obligations and responsibilities include those of understanding and observing all classroom policies and procedures regarding preparation of coursework, papers written, and examinations taken, observing all library policies and procedures, and respecting your fellow students' rights and responsibilities regarding their academic work. The Honor Code also requires you to uphold all student life policies, including those in the residence halls. The Honor Code means that we trust each other, treat each other with respect and consideration. It means that each of us, as members of the Cotty Learning Community, make this solemn commitment to Cotty's Honor Code and that any violation of the Honor Code provisions will be taken seriously and consequences will be assigned as outlined in the student handbook. Now please refer to page five of the program as I follow and follow along as I read the beginning paragraphs of the Honor Code. I read these words as a representative of the Cotty community. 
The Honor Code of Cotty College defines and expresses the ethical spirit in which we, the members of the Cotty community, pursue the education of women. Recognizing that a community of learning cannot function well without respect for basic moral order, we also understand that the furthering of excellence requires still greater commitments. Thus, in addition to basic moral principles, we also affirm Virginia Alice Cotty's emphasis on the development of excellent personal character and the more specific ethical standards of the professional associations that oversee the conduct and quality of higher education. Now please rise and join me in reciting aloud your pledge to uphold the honor code using the words printed in bold. We, the members of Cotty College community, commit ourselves to act with personal responsibility, academic honesty and integrity of word, moral respect for persons and their property, ethical concern for the good of the college community and the broader society of humankind. Embracing these ideals, we aim for the ongoing fulfillment of the mission of this college as a center of higher humane learning. Now that you've stated your pledge to uphold the Cotty Honor Code, we will begin the tradition. So make sure you bring your pen with you and please come forward and, say, and sign the book as I say each student's name. You ready? Yes, you can sit down, sorry. Yes, you can sit down until you're ready to come up. Kaylee Akiyama. Summer Anderson. Sarah Andorn. Yancy Oswag. Fiona Badley. Gabby Bastidas. Amira Ben Salem. I'm going too fast. Okay, Amira. Rachel Bybee. Haley Bingham. Chloe Bolin. Fiona Burmeister Morton. Lucia Burnett. Kristen e. Bird. Emily Beiser. Isabel Savayos. Aaron Christopher. Rosie Ochuta. Mariah Crutchfield. Peyton Davis. Phoebe Davis. Olivia Dawson. Rhiannon Deacon. Susanna DeJarnett.
Sienna DeRoche. Morgan Douglas. Chastity Drew. Tracy Fate. Lorna Farmer. Carla Flores Romero. Maisie Franklin. Ashley Fulmer. Isabel Garcia. Kiana Garcia. Sarah Grana. Hannah Grover. Rachel Gunsel. Gensel, sorry. Rachel Gensel. Natalie Hat. Reagan Hendricks. Kaylee Hill. Did I skip the page? Devin Howell. Greta Huntoff. Madison Hyder. Jesse Janneman. Christella Zinzust. Selena Jimenez. Jordan Taylor. Welcome to Cotty College. Students, we are so pleased and so thrilled that you are here at Cotty College and that you have chosen to study with us. Congratulations to all of our first-time students for joining the Cotty community and for your pledge of commitment to the Cotty College Honor Code. Before we adjourn, I would like to thank everyone who is supporting our students, students by viewing this live stream of this event. We really wish that you could have been here in person to celebrate with our newest students. 
We will conclude by listening to the alma mater. You will find the words on the screen behind me. Students, please stand. Hail to the alma mater, hail to the alma mater, a beacon bright, thy holy light shall protect us far and near. Thy daughter sweet shall be, and loyal to thee, we are proud to be a part of thee, hail cutting sea. Like a streamlet flowing onward to the ocean's mighty bed, our life shall be because of thee and a worthy goal ahead. We'll sing the praise afar, thou art our guiding star, united we to honor thee. Hey. 